We turn now to the presidential race. On Thursday night, Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders addressed supporters in a live webcast, vowing the continuation of what he called his political revolution. The speech came two days after Hillary Clinton won the last primary in Washington, D.C. While Clinton has claimed victory in the Democratic race, Sanders announced he would stay in until next month's convention. He did not endorse the former secretary of state, but vowed to work with her to defeat the presumptive the Republican nominee, Donald Trump. The major political task that together we face in the next five months is to make certain that Donald Trump is defeated and defeated badly. And I personally intend to begin my role in that process in a very short period of time. But defeating Donald Trump cannot be our only goal. We must continue our grassroots effort to create the America that we know we can become. And we must take that energy into the Democratic National Convention on July 25th in Philadelphia, where we will have more than 1,900 delegates. Bernie Sanders went on to say he plans to push the Clinton campaign and the Democratic Party to adopt a more progressive agenda. I look forward in the coming weeks to continued discussion between the two campaigns to make certain that your voices are heard and that the Democratic Party passes the most progressive platform in its history and that Democrats actually fight for that agenda. I also look forward to working with Secretary Clinton to transform the Democratic Party so that it becomes a party of working people and young people and not just wealthy campaign contributors, a party that has the guts to take on Wall Street, the pharmaceutical industry, the fossil fuel industry, and the other powerful special interests that dominate so much of our political and economic life. To talk more about the Sanders campaign, we're joined by Roseanne DeMauro, executive director of National Nurses United, the nation's largest organization of nurses, the first national union to back Senator Sanders last year for president. Sanders recently attempted to place DeMauro on the Democratic Platform Committee, but according to Sanders, the move was blocked by the Democratic National Committee. This weekend, National Nurses United is helping organize a major conference in Chicago called the People's Summit. Uh, Roseanne DeMauro will be speaking there, but it's speaking here first. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Roseanne. Why don't you start off um, by responding to Bernie Sanders' announcement last night that he's staying in the race uh, into the convention and what he wants to see happen, and then what you want to see happen? Thank you. Uh, it was a—I uh, listened to the uh, announcement in a room with 1,400 registered nurses, and I have to say it was music to everyone's ears. Uh, prior to Bernie speaking um, on the teleprompter, we played his commercial, America, and it just, it just so much symbolized that beautiful commercial um, that he did in, with Simon Garfunkel's song. And everyone was, it just fell silent. And then when Bernie spoke, there was a, a, a massive relief in the room that the, there was an advocate that would be fighting for them, for the nurses, for their patients. It was just, it was the, the passion was palpable and it was beautiful. And I think that's probably how it resonated with people across the country. What we know about Bernie is that he will be there. He's always been there as a fighter in the Senate, but that he'll continue to be there for us. But most importantly, his message was, we have to be there. We have to build a movement. We have to fight. Now, following, um, <laughs> I just have to say this, but because it was just so sweet, following his uh, presentation, the nurses, because they always dance, we ascribe to Emma Goldman's philosophy, if we can't dance, we don't want to have the revolution. So they uh, were, you know, started up karaoke, they chose their songs. The, the Veterans Administration nurses who were in the room chose My Guy, and they got up and they sang it for Bernie. And it was just, I mean, it made everybody tear up. And then the next group did a song for Bernie called Don't Stop Believing by Journey. So that actually, I think, is emblematic of where things stand. Uh, Roseanne, tomorrow, uh, I wanted to ask you about this issue of the uh, DNC uh, nixing uh, you for being on the on the uh, platform uh, on the platform committee, and also the uh, the reasons 
that they felt that uh, they didn't want labor union representation, the ostensible reasons, uh, what that signifies. You know, Juan, I think exactly ostensible. The, what, the fact that the DNC could use not having a labor leader on the platform committee as a reason says everything that you need to know about how far the Democratic Party has drifted from the working people of America. And but actually, the real reason is that I'm I fight. I'm we you know we are one of the only organizations I'd say that has systematically fought in its history for a single-payer health care system, because the nurses see the human suffering of people, and it's not negotiable. And that's the thing. They, what, you know, we've seen with the neoliberal agenda and the austerity programs, we're all supposed to get on board and just, you know, accept cuts. Well, when it comes to health, the nurses see the consequences of that. They see the fallout. They see people who can't afford their prescriptions. They see people who get to the hospital so late and their lives are compromised because of it. And so when it comes to single-payer, we don't compromise. We are going to fight. Every other country can achieve a single-payer system. People shouldn't suffer. And that's basically the bottom line. And one of the reasons that the nurses are so heartfelt in the Sanders campaign, it remains so. And so, excluding me from, I was not surprised whatsoever. I mean, it was ironic because, you know, they, they chose you know, Cornell West, who we like very, very much, but um, they, they excluded me. And what that says is, to me, is the role of finance and health care and what they don't want to see on the platform. There isn't a commitment to taking care of America's people by the Democratic Party any longer. A single-payer health care system is more cost-effective, it's the most efficient, and it guarantees access for everyone. And that's off the agenda. That's what that says. Would you like to see Bernie Sanders run as a third-party candidate? You know, there is a massive amount of discussion about that. I don't think Bernie's going to consider that. You know, we're having a People's Summit this weekend in Chicago, and by the way, we will be live streaming it, and it's still open, so folks in Chicago, feel free to come and join us. There'll be approximately 3,000 people so far registered for that. And it's grassroots activists, and it's people who've been doing movement building for many, many years. It's uh, Juan's there tonight with us. Um, it's. You know, we have performers, we have you know, really new films out, progressive films. But most importantly, why we're there is to network. And I'm sure that there'll be a variety of discussions from, you know, supporting Clinton and just basically conceding the fact that we're not going to achieve anything at this round in the electoral process at that level. Um, and, you know, I'm sure people will talk about building third parties. There'll be a variety of discussions. So everyone's voice is going to be welcome here, because it's a time for debate and it's a time for deep considerations. We saw the manipulation in the DNC of this election. We saw the horrendous campaign obstacles that we had to confront. It was a real eye-opener for the nurses, in particular, because they were across the country on the Sanders campaign. And they were, at first, quite stunned by the level of corruption. but eventually understood that you have to change things at a systemic level. So when Senator Sanders says that we have to transform the Democratic Party, we all kind of turn and look at each other and wonder, with Wall Street's money so invested in that party, is that possible any longer? So it just raises all the, all the questions. We, the nurses had a really good discussion at their executive board yesterday, and we're staying to fight. We're staying with Bernie. We're going to fight for our issues through the convention, and we're going to continue to fight for our issues. What I'm the most worried about is the disaffection by Sanders not achieving the nomination. But that's still open. I mean, that's still an open question. I know there's a presumptive nominee, but that's still an open question. A lot can happen between here and the end of July. Regardless of that, Sanders' campaign is about, issue, campaign is about changing America. And it's changing America from being a market to a society. And I think at a visceral level, that's what people really see and they want. They want their country back. And that's what our campaign's been about. And, and Roseanne, your organization obviously was very pivotal in, in uh, organizing support for Bernie Sanders. But among the other things that he said uh, last night in terms of not just transforming the Democratic Party, but he said that it was an immediate political task of the next five months to make sure Donald Trump does not become president. Uh, do you agree with that aspect of, of what he said? Absolutely. Well, I mean, I, we're really not very interested in having you know, can some of neo-fascism in our country. And that's where this goes. My assumption is that Donald Trump will defeat himself, that the Republicans will wake up. Um, I think, though, Juan, there's something deeper and we, that can't be ignored. And that is, you know, and, and the people who support Trump give voice to that. And that's a deep 
frustration of where our country is going, and it seems to be continuing on that path by our, our electoral choices here and the presumptive nominees. Regardless of which side they were on, people want change. What you know, I think we'll all be unified in fighting Donald Trump. I also believe that many of the Clinton supporters basically walked and just fell lockstep into the normal Democratic Party nomination process. But I believe on the issues, they'll be with us. They'll be with Bernie. They want a better America. They want education for their children. They want health care for their families. They want a society that doesn't pollute the air. They want immigrant rights. I mean, all of the things that, that this campaign is about, we continue on. And in fact, I, I think, you know, to, Tonight and tomorrow and the next day at the People's Summit, we'll be talking a, a lot about that. There's a, a, a lot of surrogates from the Sanders campaign who will be here, Nina Turner, Tulsi Gabbard. Um, there's really incredible speakers on the environment, Naomi Klein tonight with you, Juan. And there's, you know, the young generation of, of talent in the film industry and in, and in the rock scene, actually, um, will be here. So we've got all of this young, incredible talent. I have, what I'm really, the, I, I think, I guess the thing that I'm, the, I've been an activist all my life, and what I'm ha the most happy about in this campaign is how intelligent the young people are. And look at this, and this cross-section of actors and actresses here tonight, for example, um, who are going to be doing readings, you know, Rosario Dawson, um, for example who's on the panel tonight with us as well, they're just so, they're, they're so smart, and they're, they've got a long future ahead, and they want this country to be returned to the people. And so I am, I'm just feeling so good about the moment. I mean, obviously, we would have loved to see Bernie as the, and we still do, we love to see Bernie as the leader of this country. He deserves that role. He fights for us. Roseanne DeMauro, we want to thank you for being with us, executive director of the National Nurses United and the California Nurses Association National Nurses Organizing Committee.